5 things I hate about EVs. Summing it up, it is like this. Number 5 would be the charging time. Number 4, driving joy. Number 3 is destroying the planet. At number 2, I have driving a smartphone. Before I get to number 1, I have a nice mention, which is no sound. And since we got to number 1, that is music. Now, let's break down one by one my reasons for not liking these electric cars. So, when it comes to, to see a difference between combustion engine cars and EVs, of course, there are few of them. And starting with my number 5, we have the refueling slash recharging. It is very simple for a regular car and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes from the moment you turn off your engine until you start your engine again and drive off. Even with the time spent on queues, it's still around 20 minutes. But when it comes to EVs, you spend way more time because we all know even charging your phone takes one to two hours. On top of that, while you wait, of course, you will spend money to make some purchases that were not in the menu for that day. Moving to the next reason, as a car and a man that is in love and playing with cars since he was two years old, I really love to drive my own car. I like tweaking it, making it my own, enjoy the fun in that and also meet new people that are the same as me, in love with their cars, listening to their stories and reasons for choosing and loving their cars and we are all a nice community in general. If you didn't know that, that's okay because you are not alone. Down to number 3, I'm going to touch a subject that will rock some people's world, that is destroying the planet. Most people don't know or choose not to learn this, but anyone can search for the materials used to be uh, used to make these electric cars, see how rare they are and look into the whole process those materials are going through to become parts of these cars, to see the waste resulted in the process and the most important, where is that waste end up on this planet. Talking about differences between cars, a combustion engine is creating carbon dioxide that is crucial for trees and plants in general to survive. I bet a very big percentage of people didn't really think of the cycle between cars, trees and all living creatures on the planet, especially humans. You are driving your combustion engine car which is burning fuel and making carbon dioxide, right? Trees are able to take that and make their own surviving process, which is called um, photosynthesis or something, I, I forgot. But they're making their own process of uh, surviving, right? And after that, they produce oxygen for animals and people in, in general to breathe, and people will dig up some more fuel for the cars. Anyway, we get into number two of my list and that is what I compared to the driving experience of a smartphone. Don't laugh, I think everyone knows what I meant by that, but I will explain as well. I really like being in control of my life and that includes the control of my car as well. Maybe you don't see it now, but you will in the following decade that the elites are trying to make us their slaves not only mentally but physically and literally. They want to control what we spend our money on, what we eat, when we do things, for how long, where we want to go and so on. They want us to be an enclosed zoo, they would be the zookeepers. Getting back to the cars, all I'm saying is that they will be able to control our cars just like they control, listen and gather information on us through our phones and I really don't like that. Now, before I'm getting to the first reason, uh, which by the way affects me immediately if I would buy an electric vehicle, I have another mention, which I, I said before, is the sound. Some cars have speakers somewhere at the back of the car and they have this software that is producing the sound of an actual exhaust from a combustion engine car, but most of them don't. Like I said earlier, a car enthusiast doesn't like that and to be honest, I think it's somewhat dangerous for pedestrians. I mean, I grew up uh, counting on my hearing to be careful around cars, around streets, etc. Especially that I don't have eyes in the back of my head, right? But being able to hear car engines that are approaching, I don't necessarily have to see them because 
if I hear them, then I'll be aware of it, not getting run over, therefore safe. I really trust that some of you had uh, an experience just like that, I had that happening at, at least once in your life and you were grateful to hear the car and save yourself to save a relative or even a stranger just because you heard the engine from the car that was coming right towards you and made the decision that let you or other people live longer. And we are down to number one on my list which is the music. Like I said this affects me directly if I would be to buy a car tomorrow. When I'm saying this, I'm referring to the fact that I'm not only a car enthusiast, but also a bass enthusiast and I love me some bass when I'm driving. If you think about it, yes, it is expensive, yes, it takes time to la and labor, but that's the fun of it and I simply love the whole process, just like I love listening to bass. Not everyone will get me on this subject, but I know there are some people uh, that do. If you are one of them, you know what it takes to have a powerful bass in your car and uh, that's not possible in an electric car. Why? Well, the main reason is batteries. You need a lot of battery power to push those subwoofers and electric vehicles simply don't have it. If you think they do, let me tell you that it might be true, but not realistically speaking. You can have all those batteries in the car, but those are for moving the vehicle, not to bump subwoofers. And if you do bump them, it will be for a few minutes until they drain out. After that, you need a tow truck to get back home. If you have different opinions about the subject, please don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you ASAP. That being said, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, so the algorithm will spread it uh, for more people to see it. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video.